dancing anymore. Here we go. Here we go. Hold on. Extreme. Extreme! Hey, yo, what's up? Stuff here. Let me get that mirror adjusted somewhat. There we go. Stuff here. Out on my V13 once again. Might look slightly different to you because I have installed the knobs on the wheel. Um, and I can tell you already, I don't have them back far enough. I'm not making a good contact with them, so I will be doing that. Then we got people that don't move the trash cans. Then we got people that are looky-looing me. That happens. So I think I will go over to the uh, pathway quick and try to adjust the knobs. And then uh, I, have, I have some things to do. So come along with me. Just making sure I can still ride seated, which, which I can, which is uh, it's a little weirder. Yeah, see the, the knobs, I'm not quite sure where to put them because like right now my, I'm up against them, but standing they're not close enough uh, that I engage them when I'm leaning. So I don't know, it's gonna take some trial and error, I think. Trial and error. Stand up. All right. Yeah, when I was doing the practice last week, I almost wiped out standing up. It's just going too slow. Got to got to do those transitions quick. That's uh, that was my lesson learned there. And uh, and the other important lesson was if you try to stop while you're seated, uh, don't put one foot down first because uh, it'll act like a, a pivot point and you'll try to spin around it, and the wheel will dump and uh, it'll run over your back and all that kind of stuff. I'm actually going the wrong way for what I want to do, but you know, shit happens. So this more than likely will be my uh, last ride video prior to going to California. So there's that. Um, I will be there next weekend at this time. Should be exciting, looking forward to it. I'm sure there'll be lots of uh, fun, adventures, memories, all that jazz. So uh, looking forward to it. All right, I just moved them back a little bit. You, you might notice here, I did, I did cut the front pads. I just took my my X-Acto knife and cut the pads off, so I don't have anything up here catching me. So, I don't know, this will be some trial and error. Trial and error. All right, they're still, even back a little bit more, they're still not engaging uh, like you would want. I don't know, it feels like if I push them too far back against my, my uh, shins, then I won't be able to uh, ride seated comfortably. So I don't know. We'll see. I mean, of course, I'm the, I, I always have been able to ride without pads. I don't need them, the kind of accelerations I do. It is nice having the braking pads back there, but uh, acceleration, uh, I can accelerate pretty well without it. Cruising down at County Barn Road. You don't see me on this road very much and uh, have an annoying crosswind right now. So man, oh man, there certainly have been a lot of uh, new wheel announcements lately, right? You got the uh, King Song F22. That they now they've they firmed up the specs. It's not going to be 176 or 178 volt wheel. Now it's 100. And, it's a 151, like a like a Lynx, I, I think, or 155. I think it's 151. So voltage is a little less than uh, originally rumored. You have the Extreme Bull Griffin, which is a Lynx knockoff. Heard a few positive things about that. The Bagode Blitz is coming. I have not heard much about that, but I know that's another new wheel that's in the works. And uh, let's see, we have the um, Extreme Bull Commander GT Pro Plus. And uh, out of all those wheels, the one that interests me potentially the most is the Veteran Sherman L. An update to the Veteran Sherman S uh, within, with a 151 volt power plant and a 4,000 watt pack. So out of all those wheels, that's the one that potentially uh, is the most interesting to me, even though all of them sound interesting in their own way, really. But yeah, a lot of new wheels coming. I don't know, I think, uh, I think Marty might uh, wind up owing me an IPA for uh, doing his best of 2024 uh, wheel compilation in March because I have a feeling that uh, one if not more of those wheels is going to make that list. 
All right, first stop here is uh, we're going to the ATM. Got to have some cash when you travel, right? So going to go take care of that. Go to the ATM. And it's kind of annoying because to get there, it's the easiest way is just to stay in the sidewalk. So that's probably what I will do. We'll try to not get hit by traffic here. Thank you. And um, yeah, we're going to go there first. Uh, I'm thinking about going to the cabana and grab a beer at the cabana, maybe. I haven't been there in month, quite a while. I'm not quite sure why, other than, you know, I went there a lot during the winter, but it's warmer now. Maybe that's why I haven't gone, but I haven't found myself at the cabana in a very long time, so I might go over there. And I have an idea in my head that I want to, uh, when I get back to the house, grab a couple other wheels and just try seated on them as well. Now that I have um, at least a minimal amount of confidence with seated riding, I'm wondering if I would do better uh, on the other wheels. I might, might be able to surprise myself and ride seated on the other wheels as well or at least some of them. I think I need to hit that adjustment bolt on the suspension on this thing, on the V13. Just something that seems a little, a little more uh, clunky than it should be. I know there's an adjustment bolt uh, that you need to tighten periodically. And I'm, I'm wondering, if, uh, wondering if mine needs to be tightened. It doesn't sound too bad going over those though. How much, that's the question. How much, how much money should I pull out? I don't know. I don't know. I just gotta find my ATM card first. I have one of these new um, minimalist wallets, which are cool. Yeah, they're cool, but um, not the easiest thing to get access to your stuff. I'm not gonna tell you how much I'm withdrawing. The secret. Secret. No. No receipt. You see, like your cash just like sits on the outside. It's kind of interesting take my cash all right got it and i'm done i'm done and you guys recognize these sunglasses these are the glasses that i've had forever like my very first youtube videos on pevs probably on the segway mini pro i i had these glasses and um it's funny the or you want to know the origin story of these glasses these glasses are actually i don't know now i'm, I'm questioning myself but i think i'm accurate these glasses were actually given to my ex-wife Allison after her LASIK surgery to um, you know, protect her eyes after LASIK surgery because you have to kind of be careful with your eyes after LASIK. And these glasses were given to her and I somehow became the new owner of them. And uh, I don't know, I like them. And that was, Jesus, 12 years ago, maybe more than that. Ridiculous. I'm debating if I want to take this with me on the trip because um, you know, I'm, I'm the type that I get credit card receipts normally and I keep my credit card receipts and with my normal wallet, I just stuff them in. With this situation, it's, it's not really stuffable, so I don't know. I have, to, uh, I have to evaluate if that's plausible or not. All right, next stop. Um, that's a little noisy. Next stop, uh, Cabana. I'm thirsty, I'm dehydrated. Even though I drank a ton, um, I played pickleball this morning, it just dehydrates you so bad. So I'm feeling thirsty, very thirsty. Yep, seated in the bike lane. Makes me a little nervous, but uh, I don't know. It's not too bad. Seated. I think my um, people taking pictures of me counter is up to about six, I believe. I just stand there at the uh, intersection. Some guy popped out his camera, told me to wave, say cheese. That's me, I'm your performing monkey. That's me. I saw the uh, the new Godzilla King Kong movie. I don't even know what I don't even remember what it's called. <laughs> it's on HBO Max. Just came out, and uh, it's fine. I mean, as long as you can just. Uh, I, I, I talked to Larry. Larry's the one that uh, he did like an official like write-up review on it, which I didn't read because I didn't want to spoil it, right? <laughs> but yeah, it's just it's just good brainless fun. You know, just don't really pay attention to the plot at all and just enjoy monsters like uh, beating each other up. It's a good old time. I enjoyed it. Sometimes uh, situations where you can just disengage your brain and and just chill for I think it was almost two hours. Pretty long movie. Uh, it was good. Good for me. The, the noise and suspension is more when you're going uh, over things where the the ground is dropping out versus uh, like going over a speed bump when it's compressing. Uh, I don't really hear it. It's, it's when it's it's uh, expanding to like, you know, fill in a pothole or whatever. That's what's when I'm hearing more of the noise. 
I'm, I'm right up against the, the knobs. Um, so if I move them back even further, it's not gonna be good for seated. So I don't know, I'm not quite sure what the happy medium is here. I don't know, I think maybe I figured out why I haven't done this ride much lately. It's because it's hot as f Sweating. Sure, if I've ever even done steps on the V13, so. Uh, oh, and I was gonna do them down there, but there's some kids uh, practicing dancing down there. Okay, so let's, let's go to the, uh, the set of six, I guess I'll do those. Here we go. Not bad. Definitely not veteran style, but uh, not bad. Two hours later. All right, this is Duff after spending some time at the cabana, having a few Miller lights. What's up? All right, so the plan is we're heading back, heading back to the house, reversing, and then I'm going to uh, take some of the other wheels out and just see if I can ride seated on them. Why not? What the F, why not? Fun, it was uh, yeah, hanging out there. Um, I was talking to a couple of people at the bar. One of the guys, we were comparing notes about um, ex-girlfriend situations. That was kind of interesting. Uh, he enjoyed the conversation enough that he uh, he bought a round of uh, uh, my Miller Lite, which was nice of him. His name was Joe. Thank you, Joe. I don't think you'll ever see this, but uh, thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, so it was good. I haven't been there in a long time. I need to go more often. It's good chill. Good, uh, good chill break. Pretty thirsty when I got there, so now I'm less thirsty. All right, you want to see something extreme? All right, here we go. Oh, wait, you know what? Ugh. Is the... Oh, shit. Test, test. Okay, all right. I wasn't sure if my wireless mic was still working because it was sitting there for, I don't know, well over an hour, but it looks like it's still working, so good. Dancing anymore. Here we go. Here we go. Hold on. Extreme. Extreme! That was extreme. The most steps I've ever done in the V13. That was extreme. Not really. But I like to make believe. I do <laughs> I do that sometimes. I make believe. <laughs> Makes life easier. I just, I just remembered I wanted to go a different way back. But I forgot. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go this way instead. It's fine, but I did want to go a different way, a more direct way. This is kind of indirect, but um, yeah, well, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I can go. I can go indirect. I'm very uh, flexible. So this week, I need to figure out my uh, my luggage situation. Um, I did. There's a picture of my my helmet does fit in my luggage. Uh, unlike last time, uh, well, two years ago at this point. Well, not quite two years, but um, I, I borrowed Larry's gear when I was out there, primarily. I think I had some of my own, but it was mostly Larry's gear. The traffic, perfect. Um, this time, oh, shit, I could have just stayed on the road. Why am I doing this? I don't know. Uh, this time, I'm going to bring my helmet, my gear, and just throw it in my suitcase. It's a matter of if it all will fit without me having to take a second suitcase, which I can do. You know, just pay the, the bag fee, I guess. But the goal is to get it all in one suitcase. But this is the first time I've ever been to California in the middle of summer. Um, the, the two previous times I went, it was in December. Yes, I did go last year, but uh, yeah, that wasn't documented on video. That's a, that's a story uh, upon itself, which I'm not going to touch right now. But anyways, yeah, this is my first time going in July. So it'll be a new experience. That's a good thing, right? New experiences are good, right? They're good. Good. Seated on the straightaway, doing in the low 30s. It's very exciting. I feel my heart racing. Not really. All right, all right, we're doing good. We're doing good. All right, so this is the part of the uh, ride back where I head right to catch a light on Davis, it's easier to go right instead of riding in traffic, so that's what I normally do. Oh, we got a guy on a bike here. Um, this is also very close to where uh, Christine lives, 
You guys know Christine. You guys know Christine. Um, so I don't know. Do I want to? Do I want to buzz by her place? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll decide. I have time to decide. I have at least 15 seconds to decide. <laughs> I'm very. <laughs> I'm very confused by what I just saw. I'm very confused. I, I, I mean, I'm not going into detail, but <laughs> I'm very confused by what I just saw. That's fine. It's fine. I'm used to being confused. That's kind of my new thing, uh, confusion. But uh, yeah, I'm very confused. All right, we are, uh, we're trucking down, uh, what road are we on, Davis? Davis Boulevard, upper 30s, feels, feels comfortable. This isn't normally the way I go. We're going a slightly different way, but it's fine. Everything's fine. It feels, it feels weird knowing that like this, this time next week, I'll be in California. I don't know, it feels weird, right? I don't know, it feels weird. Not in a bad way, but just weird. I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna do a live stream out there too, by the way. Uh, tentatively uh, next Sunday evening. So uh, block it off on your calendar. Next Sunday, I think it's the 14th. Don't know what time exactly. It'll be later than normal because it's specific time. Uh, but I, I think, I think it'll be uh, Roger, Marty, Larry, Dawn, and myself. So a five person live stream. So yeah, don't miss it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be eventful. I have a feeling. Almost back. Almost back to swap out wheels. Right here you see my Sherman S which I wouldn't mind replacing with a Sherman L. So we're gonna go, this is my next biggest wheel next to the V13. So we're gonna, oh, wow. We're gonna go see if I can ride this seat. I don't know if uh, the suspension's so nice on the, I left my garage door open, it's fine. I don't live in a high theft area, so let's see. I don't know. Looks like a far way down, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Damn, the wheel only has three bars of battery. Shit. I normally charge my wheels after I use them. I guess I guess I need to charge a Sherman S. I mean, it's fine. It doesn't matter for this, but I don't know. I'm surprised, man. Three bars. It's not that much. Three out of uh, three out of eight. I don't know. It's not that much. Man, this church is always it's always busy, man. At least on the weekends. It's freaking, uh, what time is it? It's 4.47 on a Sunday evening and there's a whole bunch of people here. I guess, uh, I don't know, Sunday evening services? I mean, this is a Catholic church, so I know they have lots of services, but I don't know. This, this place is always busy. It's like a, it's like a Walmart. Hey, I tried to sit down and I veered into the grass. <laughs> Not a good sign. Not a good sign. Um, wow, it feels really, it feels really low. Really low. <laughs> Um, okay, hmm, I don't know, can I do this? Uh, all right, I'll try again, I'll try again. Not with the camera out though, because that just makes it harder. Yeah, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting a bad, <laughs> bad back and forth wobble. I don't, I don't know that I want to push this. Um, I remember when uh, Enrique borrowed my wheel when he was over here. Um, he was having a hard time getting down to seated position as well, actually. I don't know, maybe I should go slower. I, I don't know. I really don't want to dump it on my ass. All right. <sighs> See, part of the problem is these, these uh, E-Rides pedals are super grippy. So it's like when I sit down, I can't, I can't really slide my foot much because it's locked into these freaking spikes. So it's part of the issue, but the other issue is it's, uh, it's further down than the, um, the V13. Come to a standstill just to see how that would even feel. Oh boy. Yes, it's no. Yeah, there's just not enough room. And, and the pads too. The way the pads are, no. I would almost, I would have to readjust these pads to make them uh, suitable for seated. 
because my feet would need to be way further up and they would only be like half ass on the pedals. So I don't think that's gonna work. And I'm not that, I mean, if I, if I wanna ride seated, I'm just, I'm just gonna take the V13, so yeah. I don't think it's gonna work on the Sherman S, so it's fine. I'll still be able to sleep at night. It's all good, just curious. And now my uh, curiosity has been satisfied, so. Seated riding, V13 it is. No problem. That lady's walking her dog without a leash. Hi, buddy. Looks like a chow. It's all right. It's fine, I'm sure the dog likes it. As long as the dog doesn't chase me, we're good. We are good. I love dogs. I love all animals, pretty much. Except mosquitoes and fire ants. Man, the fast ace suspension on the veteran wheels is just so nice. It's. I mean, I really like it a lot. So the fact that the F22 is supposed to be using fast day suspension. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do a curb drop here. It's probably dangerous with a, with a services going on, but you know, I'm a rebel. Um, yeah, the fast day suspension is so comfortable. I just, I, I love it. It's so good. I think the version that's on the Sherman L if I'm not mistaken, I think it was 100 millimeters of uh, suspension travel, so that's that's good too. I don't know that I saw the weight of that wheel, though. I'm curious what the weight is with 4,000 watt hours of battery in it. Probably heavy, because this is like a 100 pound wheel. So I'm, I'm curious what it's going to weigh. Like if they if they went with like the same sort of magnesium strategy that they did with the Lynx, if they would be able to make a 4,000 watt hour. Sherman L and still have it be you know, about the same weight as this. That would be kind of interesting, but we'll see. Do I need to, to spend any money on wheels right now? No, no, clearly not. I have lots of things to spend money on uh, other than wheels. Oh wow, Elsa's coming, good. Let's turn that up a little bit. Take out the trash. Thank you, thank you, Alexa. Good, come on. Go ahead. Good girl, good girl. All right, so. Okay, I guess she didn't want to sit next to me. Do I smell or what? What's going on? Yeah, so that was kind of a all over the place ride, right? All kinds of different uh, different things. Different things going on. Um, interesting trying to ride seated on another wheel other than the V13. And there goes my bandage. Interesting, and I'm just saying interesting to me. Interesting that at this time next week I will be in California. That's interesting to me. Interesting knowing that where I have the knobs on the V13 uh, doesn't really help me when standing. It seems like if I put them in a spot where it's good for me for standing, they will not be good for me for seated. So I don't know, I gotta kind of figure out what I wanna do there. But yeah, I guess that's it. I guess that's it. If you found this video interesting, please think about giving it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you're gonna subscribe, you hit the notify bell that's over there somewhere. Uh, big thanks to my channel members. Uh, last time I checked, I had 23 of them. Uh, right here they are. Thank you, channel members. I appreciate your support. I did a, um, a members only live stream last week, right? Yeah, last week. I got, I don't know, 25 minute live stream last week. Uh, see, it seemed like most of my members got to see that, so that's great. I would like to expand on what I do for my members in the future. And if you're in a membership kind of mood, think about um, uh, becoming a member on Dawn's channel as well. I, I think I have the link in my description below and this bandage is hanging there, it's weird. I have a, I think I have a link. If I don't, I will put it there. There's a link in the description below to become a member on Dawn's channel. That would help her out as well. Uh, and I would appreciate that, of course. So. Um, let's see, what else? I think that's it. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. And um, I hope you had a great weekend. It's now, it's now, geez, it's five o'clock. I, I spent much more time out on that wheel than I thought I would be. Uh, but, you know, shit happens, so that's it. That's all I have for now. Till next time. Next time you see me, I uh, might be in California. Till next time, tough me now. I'm getting ready. It fits. <laughs>